What's up, guys? This is what this was designed for. Snow, mud, the beach, wherever you want to go. It's an all-terrain cycle. This is an absolutely pristine, original 2,096 miles on this thing. These were wildly popular in France. They were supposed to be on and off-road vehicles, and they were like urban chick, and they really took off there, and they rode them on the streets. They're really easy to ride with the big tires on them. The thing's rated for 80 miles to the gallon, and it'll do almost 55 miles an hour. Little 90cc two-stroke. This one has just had a complete mechanical restoration, nut and bolt from the bottom of the tires up. Everything's been gone through on it. I'll go over that with you in a minute, but first, let me show you how much fun they are. Little rotary valve two stroke has about as much horsepower as a 184 stroke. Super, super simple little motor, oil injected. Let's take it on the street and show you how she goes. This is the first ever RV90 that we've had through the shop, ever. Check the YouTube channel. I didn't know these came with a rotary valve, but pretty sweet. It's the original paint as well. This was a donation from a friend of ours to the museum for resale. I think I should have worn my uh, snowmobile jacket. It's freezing cold out here. Right inside. Help but have a smile on your face right this thing around. What do you get inside? We actually have a green one too, a blue one and a green one. This thing purrs like a kitten because it was just restored by the best in the business. In fact, the, um, the tech that worked on this, Jimmy, we did an IQ test and we figured out he's the smartest one here. <laughs> and we kind of knew that already, but um, he definitely uh, has a genius IQ and uh, he's actually built, uh, and built race cars that have been uh, raced all over the country, like uh, you know, big Hemi 
uh, supercharged cars, uh, thousand horsepower cars. So for him to work on something like this, it was a piece of cake. Jimmy took this right down to the frame. Actually, we have pictures we can show you. He split the engine cases, completely dismantled the motor to the very last nut and bolt. It only had 2,000 miles on it, but this is a 1973, so it's almost 50 years old. In, in uh, three years, it'll be 50 years old. It's 47 years old. It's original paint. Cosmetically, it's gone through the entire, the detail shop went through. They pulled the exhaust, painted the exhaust, touched up the rims. Um, it'll go through the detail shop for one more wipe down because I just took it through the snow, have it clean, and it'll be stored in the museum uh, for display here until it goes to a new home. But Jimmy split the cases on this, took the crank out, and put new crank seals in it, rebuilt the, the, the rotary valve carburetor, went through the oil injection, honed the cylinder, clean the piston, all the, all the all new gaskets in it, uh, new spark plug, rebuilt the carburetor. I've got a, actually, it's in my back pocket here, but I think it didn't fall out. I've got a four page work order here. Um, again, nut and bolt restoration mechanically on a 2000 mile, or he actually put a new uh, tube in the back too because um, the original tube was uh, dry. So the, um, here's the, uh, here's the parts list right here. It's a two page parts list um, and uh, the work order. Uh, compression is now a perfect 150 PSI. Uh, again, here, uh, rebuilt the carburetor, put new fuel lines in it, um, uh, put new crank seals in it, went through the clutch, the transmission, everything's been, been uh, gone through and it's had a full tune up. So it also has a new front sprocket, uh, brand new, obviously brand new gold chain on it. And it's got maybe an hour run time on it. It's still smoking a little bit because he ran a 32 to one premix in there along with the oil injection. So it's probably running at like 20 to one right now uh, because he just rebuilt it. He wanted to run it a little bit richer in case the auto injection pump wasn't working properly, which he did go through and test that and, and, and tune that and the injection pumps working perfectly. This is the oil injector. Uh, tank right here, so you don't have to mix the oil. Has a brand new battery in it, has the original Suzuki tool kit. You can see in mint condition. Um, underneath the seat is in beautiful condition, as you can see. Uh, even the seat foam's in good shape, the original seat cover. So cosmetically, uh, on an originality scale, I'm an AMCA judge. I judge bikes at AMC shows and also at our own shows here. And I'm going to give this bike a 99 point for originality. The only thing that's not original on it cosmetically is the drive chain. It's been upgraded to a new gold drive chain. Everything else on this bike's original. So, uh, and it is in absolutely stunning condition. And mechanically, everything's been gone through. Uh, it has a new oil injection reservoir cap, uh, new center crankcase gaskets, because again, the, the, the gaskets, the crankcase were split. It's got brand new points in it, brand new condenser. Um, the uh, left hand crank bearing and excuse me the, the right hand the right hand crank bearing the right hand crank seal the left hand crank bearing and the left hand crank seal so not only seals but also new bearings are put in the crank new counter shaft seal for the sprocket new shifter shaft, shaft seal a new kicker shaft seal uh new bolts and washers cushions and screws new training oil uh it's got a uh let's see what else uh new spark plug and some new Phillips screws to replace some of the original ones that had been stripped out on it or taken it apart. So just totally gone through the work order. When Jimmy was done with it, went to the detail shop for everything was, was washed, waxed, buffed out, touched up, top to bottom, front to back. The total time to do the project was a little uh, three and a half days. It was uh, 28 hours labor uh, plus parts. So the work order came to $2,922 for the complete mechanical restoration of this bike, $2,900. And it's an absolutely stunning survivor. The original chrome mirrors are beautiful. The original chrome bars are beautiful. If you look at the chrome on the top of the triple tree, obviously this was stored in a heated environment. The chrome, it's all original cosmetically, but completely brand new mechanically, including the crank seals, bearings, top end, everything's done. Junior, is there anything you'd like to add about this bike? No, no nothing that hasn't been said already. Um, <coughs> As of right now, it needs nothing. Um, the brakes are on point. I, th I think I locked up the rear wheel by just touching the rear brake. So um, usually these drum brakes are soft, but something to note, uh, Suzuki by far had the best brakes on, on their on-off road trail bikes from this era. Uh, but like I said, this is the first RV90 we've ever had. 
through the shop, we've had two green 125s, and here's the second one that we brought through. The first one had like 50 miles, but this is another low mileage piece. Um, another stunning classic original Survivor. This is uh, a sweetheart right here. 100 points for, actually 99 points for originality on this one. Yeah, piston port versus the... This one has the gold chain upgrade. Miles. If you put the stock chain on, which I think the gold chain actually adds a lot, I really like it. These would be 100 points for originality. Both of them are all original. Um, this one here is rated for 53 horsepower, 84 miles of the gallon. The 53 miles per hour. This one's rated for 60, I think it was 64 is what I read online. So um, this one's almost highway speed. This one you'd want to cruise back roads with. Uh, Kenny commented earlier that you could fit four people on this seat. <laughs> you can definitely get yourself in... in uh, uh, two of your kids or, or uh, two girlfriends on there and, and ride down the beach with it, no problem. Um, that's what they originally were designed for. The big tires were for cruising on the beach down in Daytona. But ironically, they really took off. What I read online is there was like a cult following in these overseas in France. And most of these, as you know, a fun recreational bike, these, most of these got ridden into the ground, ridden off road, um, left outside. To find one that's original, 2,000 miles, totally restored, well, guess what? You're not gonna. There's none. There's none on. There's none on eBay, and there's none on YouTube, and there's none out there that are that are like this that were just restored by professionals here at the New England Motorcycle Museum. Junior, have you seen any let, let you remotely like this come up? We search for Japanese enduros obsessively, and we've had four RVs ever uh, out of two thousand bikes. Uh, that'll speak for itself. The I'll tell you guys, if the Tramp Bonville was was the coupe. This is the sedan right here. Look at that. Pristine piece. I think the pictures tell the story uh, clearly and um, hope it goes to a great home and someone enjoys it as much as, as I just did it. Uh, bowing around on it, it's definitely a fun piece. So very easy to own. Very, there's no really very low maintenance on these bikes. Just keep fresh gas in it. Matter of fact, the, the fuel that we have in here is ethanol free. We use VP, small engine fuel. It's a small price to pay. It gets 84 miles of the gallon. You can buy five gallons for 53 bucks. Highly recommend picking up a can of that and the thing will run forever. It doesn't have any of the uh, um, ethanol additive in it. So, listen to this thing. Tune to Perfection by Jimmy Laurinaitis, the best in the business. These would look great under your Christmas tree, a blue one and a green one. Good luck bidding on them. God bless America. Send us your zip code for a shipping quote. You can ship them overseas inexpensively, East Coast inexpensively, West Coast for less than you think. Uh, Call us with any questions. Good luck. Nice riding bike. This one here, I got a matching green helmet for it. Look at that. And a green jacket, so I'm gonna take that one for a ride next. Stay tuned. Good luck bidding and God bless America.